Well, I couldn't resist it. While I'm waiting for a replacement filam filament for this one, because the filament I had left was faulty, I thought I'll make another lamp and I'll improve on this one, the little bottle light that I made a while back, which has seven LEDs, um, one N4148 diodes, and two 100K resistors. So um, I've decided to do the test tube version of that, which is like this. This is how it turned out. So I used the same little copper support rods at the bottom, going into the base of the bayonet cap. Uh, then it's got the two 100K resistors, four diodes. In this case, I used a one N, uh, sorry, yes, one N4007 as a good generic robust diode and then I put a string of as many LEDs as I could fit in alternately blue and green um, with the ice cracked on them the ends, the lenses just chopped off roughly with a pair of snips all except the end one uh, which is a pink 4.8mm LED just for some variety and uh, I'll do a sketch of this because um, it's, you'll recognise the circuitry straight away live, neutral, this is 240 volt through two 100k resistors, quarter watt, into a redirect fire, plus, minus, and then through all the LEDs. Not the most efficient circuit, but having said that, the current it's operating at, and it doesn't really matter because um, I've tested this lamp on the power meter. And it really is just a decorative lamp. Uh, the power meter won't register it at all. And if you do the maths, then it only draws about quarter of a watt. So um, I'll, I'll do the maths, in fact. It's got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 LEDs. 14 LEDs. At 3 volts each, roughly. It's going to be a bit less because it's running them at very low current. So 14 LEDs at 3 volts... 14 times 3 equals 42 volts, approximately, 240 volt supply, so all that's being dropped across the resistors, well it's quite a lot that's been dropped across the resistors, is 240 minus 40, say, so that's going to be 200 volts, 200 volts uh, divided by um, I equals V over R, so that's 100,000, uh, 2 divided by, oh actually it's 200,000, because there's two of them, um, and I don't even need the calculator for that, it's one milliamp. And the power from one milliamp, uh, P equals IV, P equals IV, therefore um, current times, uh, that's uh, 240 times 0 0.001, uh, and it comes up as quarter of watt for the whole light, and that's why it doesn't register on the power meter. But it's still quite visually nice, as I shall now demonstrate. And to demonstrate it, I'm going to turn the lights off momentarily, because it really is, it's just a sort of um, low-level light. And, uh, oh, look at that, look, that's, that's the nuclear spill, it looks quite good, uh, now that I've turned the lights off. And uh, here's the light. It's nice, I quite like the fact that the pink just splashes out there and it mixes with other colours. So just alternate blue and greens, giving an overall sort of cyan colour with that little burst of... Uh, magenta at the end, it's actually quite a nice little light. Again, this is very low power and super simple circuit, you, you can't really see it flickering because the um, most, of, most of the sine wave it's actually lit, although there's no smoothing at all. Um, and also, this is another one, if you plug it into a ceiling light, then uh, the leakage from the switching circuit means it glows visibly even when it's not turned on, which I kind of like. So, yeah, pretty nice. I like this one. I might actually make another. And they look very stylish too. Yeah, another good result.